Hi, this is Steve from Deep Instinct. Today I'm going to spend a couple of minutes to talk to you about a new remote access Trojan that is uh, being deployed against many organizations today. And we're going to talk about how Deep Instinct can help protect you against it. The uh, rat is known as Tador. So with that, let's begin. As I mentioned, uh, this has been hitting several organizations uh, around the country, around the United States. And federal agencies are now claiming that this is being uh, potentially monitored and run by the Chinese government. That set aside, no one wants to have be attacked by this without the proper protection. Because if you are, you're essentially going to be giving attackers the ability to penetrate your environment, to gain information about your environment, configurations, access points, and so on and so forth and essentially access to your sensitive data, which they may or may not exfiltrate at any given time. So it's very bad. The best thing to do is to prevent it. So let's talk about how we here at Deep Instinct can help protect you against the Tador rat. If you're not familiar with Deep Instinct, we are a cybersecurity solution provider that uses deep learning to deliver resilient prevention. It's gonna help you reduce your time and costs associated with securing your company your organization, your institution, whatever that might be. Our goal is to prevent everything using deep learning. Now we know 100% prevention is not possible every single day. So our solution also includes quick and easy detection response capabilities that can be used by anyone. Our solution is meant to be used not only by the top experts in the field, but anyone that is a security analyst can make use of Deep Instinct. We have a multi-layered approach to protection. Today, we're gonna to be focusing on what I call zero time, predict and prevent. This is where we're gonna be, where as new files move to the disk, the Deep Instinct agent will analyze those files in milliseconds to determine if they are malicious or benign. That all happens at what we call zero time. We also have runtime detect and defend capabilities. This is looking for suspicious activities that make it, that are indicative of ransomware, for example, or even some sort of remote access or some sort of C2C communication. Uh, finally, we have on-time review and rem remediation. This is where, as a security analyst, as, I, as threats are either prevented completely or detected and responded to, you're gonna get complete access to what where did they come from, what was the root cause of these threats, what type of threat were they, were, were they what were they intending to do? And you're going to have the ability to take some targeted response actions. That is our multi-layer approach to protecting your organization. So when I talk about resilient prevention, this is really critical. And we believe this is the missing link in most cyber organizations' security framework. What you really want is you want a solution that's going to be able to provide you with a high level of efficacy or high level of prevention capabilities every single day. Now, you might have, might be saying, well, I've heard this about machine learning tool, tools that use machine learning. And you probably have heard something very similar. But there's one thing you need to know about tools that use machine learning for prevention. Those tools are built around human-created features. So someone looks at a, a file, identifies characteristics of that file that would indicate that it's malicious. That gets fed into the machine learning model, and that's the basis for their the, the classification of something either being malicious or benign. And yes, that's a very simplified way to discuss it, but essentially that's how it works. One of the problems with that approach is that are these engineered features. So anything that is, is engineered by default can be reverse engineered, and that's what we're seeing attackers do today is looking at ways to evade machine learning prevention capabilities, and there's been some success of that recently. With deep learning, we don't have the same sort of issue because when you're talking about deep learning, deep learning is modeled after the human brain with millions of different neural network connections. That's what's represented on the right here. And all we do to train this, what we call brain, is feed it raw files. The file is labeled either malicious or benign. And this brain takes a decision to determine what about the files make it either malicious or benign. So we're, we really can't, pinpoint exactly what is causing the, the decision to be made. But since we can't do that, guess what? Neither can attackers. So it is, it is obviously we can't say anything is 100% foolproof, but it certainly is gonna be a whole heck of a lot harder to try to understand why our model, our deep learning analysis model, file analysis model, <coughs> has identified something as malicious compared to a machine learning model. Uh, we're really, so before I get into this short demonstration, the last couple of things I want to mention, 
really when you look at, at the different solutions that are in the market to protect your environment, we do believe we offer a difference in our resilient prevention capabilities. This is our ability, we've seen it from customers, to be able to identify and block threats day in and day out. Obviously nothing is 100% all the time, but we get pretty darn close to that. This is gonna help you ensure business continuity and take those automated actions. We're not gonna to have to make a trade off between high efficacy and dealing with a lot of false positives. Our approach doesn't generate a lot of false positives. And finally, when you look at what we can do with deep learning, we do provide a very broad attack surface protection for files and file types, operating systems, environments, and it's gonna really help you lower your cost. So with that said, to learn more about how we can help you, please do reach out to us. We'd be happy to set up a specific demo around your scenario and show you how we can, can help you solve your cybersecurity challenges. With that, why don't we go ahead and take a look at a demonstration of Deep Instinct and how it's going to interact with this Tador rat. Okay, so the first thing we're going to look at here is the malware analysis report that was put out by the uh, uh, CERT uh, this week. It's good information about this Chinese remote access Trojan Tador. Definitely take a look at it. We'll include a link to it underneath the video. But, but what it does provide me, is what I need in order to see how we can interact with this rat or protect you from it, are the files. So I have the hash values. So I've, I've downloaded these files into a zip folder and we can quickly verify that they are the exact same files. On this machine, I do have Deep Instinct running in prevent mode. So this means that as new files are, are identified as moving around the disk or coming to the disk, the deep learning static file analysis brain will analyze them in milliseconds and determine if they're malicious or benign. So we're ready to go. So let's go ahead and see what's going to happen when I attempt to extract these files. So I can see right away that the file, the ending in D4, has been identified as backdoor and is now blocked. So that happened immediately. And I know from reading the cert report that this D4 file is actually the loader file. This is the one that initiates the entire, allows the, the rat to work because it, it essentially decrypts the other files, which include other files. So by identifying this file as malicious and blocking it, we've rendered this rat useless. So that's it, that's how it works. But let me, let's go a little bit deeper into how the deep, stat, deep learning static file analysis engine worked in identifying this as malicious. So to do that, I'm gonna show you, I'm gonna flip over to the policy so the way that our solution works, you have a bunch of different security controls that you can turn on and off. Obviously, the one that we're going to be looking at and talking about right now is our prevention policy uh, that works with the dbrain package. So the way our solution works is we do train uh, a deep learning neural network model that gets pushed out to our customers. We have, we have a new model roughly twice a year, give or take. Um, but... What I wanted to, to, to be clear about right now is our latest model is version 116, which was released this past this month. Uh, the model that we're using right now that we just tested was model 109. This model was trained and released in November of 2018. And that's the model that was able to identify that brand new piece of malware as malicious. So now we're talking about a model that was we're quickly approaching two years old, is able to prevent, to identify and prevent new malware from harming your environment your your assets so that's what that's really a great example of resilient prevention in action so that's it that's how we can help protect you from the tater rat with deep instinct to learn more about how our solution works and how we might be able to solve your other cybersecurity problems as well please visit us at deepinstinct.com thanks <laughs>